Welcome all to RGN. In this video, we're going to showcase Icon 64's first C64 release for 2021, Battle Kingdom. Battle Kingdom is an action adventure game where a tranquil kingdom has been overrun by undead souls, savage beasts, and evil dragons, who have gone out and captured the kingdom's princess. You play the role of Sir Bob, who needs to go out to explore the kingdom, dispatching the evil that lurks within, collecting fragments of the Master Sword, and rescuing the entrapped princess. Starting the game off, we are presented with an overhead map view of the kingdom. In this view, Sir Bob and enemy characters are portrayed as dots, and we need to guide Sir Bob around to enter the building safely with door entries highlighted in yellow while avoiding the enemy. As we enter the building, the view changes over to an internal top-down view of the building floor plan, and it is here that we can see what Sir Bob actually looks like. The main character is quite well drawn, and equally many of the internal building graphics feature intricately drawn floor tiles and walls along with some nice shadowing effects. Sir Bob needs to eliminate all physical enemies with his trusty bow and arrow. Finishing off all the perishable enemies within a room results in a reward item being revealed. Here we are rewarded with treasure, which gives us a 50 point boost to our score. When we exit the building and return to the game map, we can see that the building no longer has the highlighted entry door. So now it's on to the next building. One thing to note is that Sir Bob starts off with only 20 arrows, but luckily he has a magical quiver that slowly replenishes the arrows over time. Your arrow count can also increase by 10 when a quiver of arrows is your reward for clearing a room. We start the game off with 3 lives and are awarded an extra life for every 2000 points, so points accumulation is an important part of the game. Here we've been rewarded with a fragment of the Master Sword. Each time a fragment is collected, the top left of the screen displays the amount of the sword collected. Only when we have collected all fragments of the sword can we enter the castle in the middle of the map to do battle with the evil dragon. When navigating outside around the kingdom, if you take too long to enter another building, then you raise the ire of the evil dragon, who comes out and heads straight for you, costing one of your lives. Okay, let's go around and find the remaining fragments. Once all the pieces of the Master Sword are found, the sword graphic at the top left starts to flash and it's time to head into the castle to go up against the dragon. The first level dragon is quite easy to defeat. And once you've saved the first princess, you're rewarded with an extra life, and then it's time to do it all over again to save another princess. There are eight princesses to save in total, and progressing through the levels, you will find that the main gameplay process remains the same, with the difference being that the number of sword fragments that need to be found increases, and the end level dragons become more difficult. Battle Kingdom is both PAL and NTSC compatible and will work with the C64 Mini and standard size devices. Battle Kingdom will be available via Cytronic software in disc, cassette and digital formats. I hope you found the Battle Kingdom showcase informative. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the game. Until next time, bye for now.